cooking today? We are cooking jambalaya. So we're gonna start out, we got some okra. We got some seasoned shrimp with my super secret seasoning. We got some uh, chicken and andouille, and that's about a pound of each. And we got some hot sauce here that's gonna be in it. Some Worcestershire, you can say it however you want. Don't wanna argue about it on YouTube. Uh, some rice, some chicken stock, salt and pepper of course over here. We got some olive oil to get started. Chopped tomatoes. And uh, this is uh, calls for two tablespoons of garlic, and uh, we like to use a lot more than that. Here we have jalapeno pepper, we've got celery, we've got um, chopped onion, chopped green pepper, and chopped poblano, all roughly about a quarter cup or so of each. And uh, we're going to start cooking that here in a minute and uh, get this ball rolling. See it? All right, we're doing jambalaya. So this is what we're going to do to test our pan and make sure it's hot. Just take a little bit of water. And if that water dances around in there like that, sizzle, sizzle, it's ready for oil. Uh, you can't really use a temperature thermometer, for a uh, digital thermometer for one of these because it reflects off of the pan. So to that, we're going to add our olive oil. That little sizzle won't hurt nothing. And to that, we are going to add our onion, our celery, our bell pepper, Poblano pepper. Okay. And we'll get to cooking. We're also cooking with Grateful Dead today. This is our uh, tribute to the, de to the dead. Our jambalaya recipe. We'll send that out to Jerry. Oh. Good to go on that, sizzling up nice. And we gotta cook this for about three minutes. And while that's cooking, we'll season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. It smells good already. All you gotta do really is just start cooking onions and uh, you can pretty much sell your house. If you have somebody come in and smells that. Alright, so we've got a couple minutes to go here. Just keep cooking this down a little bit on high heat. Yeah, it smells great. Alright, now let's see what do we want to put in here next. Let's go ahead and throw in a little bit of our garlic now. We're going to add a little bit in later. So we have a little bit, two different... Uh, Drinks of the garlic flavor. The later you put it in, the stronger it'll taste. So uh, throw a little bit in early if you want a nice deep garlic flavor, and then put it in later if you want it right in your face. Yeah, it's cooking up real nice. Okay, so now to that, we are going to add our tomatoes. We have uh, three bay leaves here. We're going to go ahead and toss our bay leaves in. And we're going to toss our chopped tomatoes in. Got that done. Got our pile of dishes starting already. And then we're going to get this worked together. Try to be careful not to break your bay leaves. Once they get moist, they'll, uh, they're pretty tough, but uh, try not to crunch them up at this stage of the game. To add our Worcestershire, our Sambal Olek hot sauce. If you're gonna eat hot sauce, that's a good one to start with. Get this ball going. Wow, you should smell that right there. That is really smelling good. You can smell each individual thing that's in here cooking too. Let's see. Now we will go ahead 
checking my ingredients here, make sure I don't miss anything. I'm going to throw a little more garlic. I'm going to keep throwing garlic in until you're sick of seeing garlic. And we're going to go ahead and throw our rice in here. Give that a stir. I like this dish because it really it's a one it's a it's a one pot dish, and uh, I really like to cook these one pot dishes. Just keep it going, stews and fricassees and all that stuff. A lot of fun to cook, and not that many dishes. Now to this, we're going to start adding a little bit of stock at a time. We got about three cups of stock here for three quarters of a cup of rice. It might not take all that stock, but I've got just a little bit extra. All right, at this point, I'm going to throw in the rest of our garlic. I'm going to save a little bit of this for something else, just because I got so much chopped up. There, now if there's a shortage of garlic in there, uh, you really like garlic. All right, now we're going to let that simmer for 15 minutes, and we're going to let the rice absorb some of that uh, moisture. We're going to throw in. Uh, chicken broth over the next 15 minutes and uh, get that all up and boiling and uh, we'll see you back here in a second as you can see we're bubbling away very nicely we're getting ready to add in our chicken so here's our uh, chicken we've got this uh, spiced with some oregano and oh, some super secret spices uh, basic jambalaya spices but I got a couple things in here I'm gonna keep it secret so anyway we're gonna throw our chicken in here and we gotta go for about 10 minutes on this so I'm going to throw this in and give it a good stir here. And you notice I'm wearing these. I like to keep the chicken thing down. Stir with the chicken. Don't let your chicken juices run down the drain. Not a good place for them. All right, so we got this added in. This is my favorite utensil for working with jambalaya soups or stews. See, I've cooked many a meal with this spoon, and it's going to cook hundreds more. All right, we'll get the chicken in here, and we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes, and we will be right back. It says 10 minutes or so, but uh, I don't think we need to do that. So I'm going to add in. This is our uh, this is our shrimp, and we just did went ahead and did our uh, seasoning on there, and uh, let it marinate for half an hour or so, and we're going to throw that in. We're going to throw in the andouille, which is already cooked. Throw in okra and give this a stir. This is a bad time of the year for okra so we went ahead and cheated and got some frozen okra and uh, I find that it, you really can't tell the difference too much. I think the frozen okra probably comes out a little better. But this is looking real good and you should smell this. This smells just like garlic heaven right now. Alright, we just need to add, we got, we're down, we had this almost full, we had about three and a half cups of, of liquid in there, we started with about three quarters of a cup of rice, and I'm thinking I'm going to use the rest of that, and I'm going to add just a little more of my super secret seasoning. I even keep it in an incognito jar, just for you kids. Alright, so here we go, and with shrimp, it's got its own built-in thermometer. When it turns red, it's pretty much done, and these shrimp are already cooking. I do not like to overcook shrimp. That's one thing you really don't want to do. Um, a lot of people cook shrimp, including me, um, and it gets rubbery. Uh, it, it gets rubbery really quick. Um, when you want to cook your shrimp, especially in a saucepan, you can go for just a couple of minutes on each side uh, in a real hot pan, Otherwise, you know, really about a minute and a half on each side of the shrimp is, is enough to cook it uh, so that it's just white through. And as soon as it's uh, red on the outside and it's, it's no longer translucent in the middle, it's perfect. And if you overcook it, it's just going to be rubbery. 
All the stuff you buy at the store in the trays, that's all overcooked shrimp. If you really want to have some shrimp and you want to have it be the way that it should be, buy it raw and cook it yourself. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll really thank me for that tip right there because that is uh, the number one thing that people do is really overcook their shrimp. So anyway, enough about that. I'm going to let this cook for about two, oh, two more minutes, I think. And uh, we're going to plate this up. All right, we're ready to go. We're going to plate this up. So right down here, we've got our finished jambalaya. And uh, I'm just going to throw it on the plate here and let you see it. Look at here. Oh, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. I like to leave the bay leaves in there. Most people know not to eat those, so do not eat the bay leaf. But I think it makes a nice little garnish on the plate. There's no shortage of goodies here. There's plenty of chicken, plenty of andouille, plenty of shrimp. And I made this crusty bread earlier this morning. And this is how I like to do this. There's that, and there is that, and that is jambalaya done in the Guitar Slinger's kitchen, and that's how we do things. Rock on! <laughs>